Central Texas man got a special trip down memory lane in Georgetown today. He's a patient with dementia and hospice care in Cedar Park. A local flight school took him up for a ride. Tex Angelica Gord explains why the hospice center says experiences like this can make such a difference. How many years have you guys been married? About 60. <laughs> 25. Since 73-year-old David Shinneman was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease a decade ago, there are a lot of things he can't remember. When did you start flying? When you were, when you were young? Uh, I was nine, 19. But he can tell you lots about his career as a pilot. His wife, who also happens to be a hospice nurse, says that's where his mind is a lot of the time. It's totally different when it's your loved one because you're you're not just losing your husband. You're losing that best friend. A hospice employee got a local flight school to donate one last flight for David and his wife. It's not that someone's giving up hope for curing a disease. Our goal with hospice is to focus on the quality of the life remaining. Here goes your headset, dear. David hasn't been on a plane since his diagnosis. I know what's coming, so we just, we just enjoy the time we can. His eyes were wide, his head was up, and his hands on the controls. When the guy asked him how he liked it, he said, well, it could be a little longer. David's <laughs> caregivers say his physical care is important in this final chapter, but so is finding glimmers of joy, despite the disease. Hopefully it's something he can remember. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News.